Hello, I'm David Rifkin, Product Category Manager for Datacom Products for Helm and Titan. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the fiber to the home products that Helm and Titan offers as well as some of the technologies that go along with those. Kind of what we're going to do to start out with is take a look going from the access lines from basically the telephone poles back to the consumer and some of the products that go along with those. So typically you'll have your carrier or your service provider will provide a fiber cable or allow access to one or multiple fibers out of a fiber cable to be able to get into apartment buildings, get into single family houses, to get into businesses, uh, places like that. Each one of the areas that has to be connected up to the pole, to the building, and in through the building itself requires different types of products to be able to support those, those uh, connections and installations. So starting at the pole, one of the first products that we have are, are fiber enclosures or splice domes, as they're commonly called in the market. These are uh, uh, products that allow you to be able to bring a multiple fiber cable, in this case up to 144 fibers in, be able to, in an enclosed environment, seal, splice, and connect those components with things such as splice trays, cable storage routing, as well as cable access. One of the interesting parts about the Helaman Titan product uh, for the splice domes is that we do have the option to use heat shrink to be able to seal those cables and provide the water sealing on the enclosures themselves, but we also have a product that we call Cable Lock. A lot easier and a lot faster to use and a lot less uh, risk than using the heat shrink because it guarantees a seal every time. The Cable Lock itself is designed with different hole sizes and in some cases have multiple holes for multiple cables coming out. And the idea is that you run the cable in you would bore out the, the opening that you needed, slide this over the cable, and this literally pulls through and locks providing a multi-point seal on the cable that provides both strain relief and water sealing. Pull it through, lock it in place, you're done. You don't need electricity, you don't need a lot of extra components, and you're not having any issues or potential damage to the cables that are nearby as you're adding on or, or multiplying them on. For pass-through applications, we also have a grommet that goes along with that that allows you to put this onto a cable, basically run the cable through, put it on, and then lock it and be able to seal so that you can concatenate box to box to box as you're going through the neighborhood or through the, the, the town that you're going to be installing these with. So you can run one 12 fiber line in, tap off a fiber and do a passive network or a direct connect at each one of those points, be able to seal that back up and go from to the, the next location. Another benefit to this product is it has an O-ring that moves on the bottom, and the idea with that is that when, it go, when you put this together, that O-ring rolls and allows it to very easily lock into place, providing a guaranteed seal for the enclosure, as well as with the cable locks on the cable itself. Once you have the feeder cable tapped into, you need to be able to run that cable to the building itself. Hellman Titan has a product that we call an aerial support tie, which is very similar to a standard cable tie. However, it's made with an engineered nylon to be able to uh, work in the outside plant, UV compliant. The idea with this is it's a very simple means of being able to attach a cable, whether it be a power cable or a fiber cable, to a messenger line overhead to be able to go from a pole to a house or building to building. The product itself very easily wraps around the cable and snaps into place secures itself on the cable so that cable can be uh, raised up to the messenger itself and then once you get to the messenger it has a standoff and it loops back itself and seals back onto the cable providing uh, a very sturdy and, and uh, easily installed cable uh, assembly mounting on those cables. Once you get the cable to the house itself or to an apartment building you have to be able to break that out into the individual uh, consumers or to the, the subscribers. We have a product called the Fiber Facade Enclosure, or the FFE, that allows you to be able to do up to an 8-fiber drop for running through single-family houses or to be able to connect in an apartment building atmosphere, where initially the cable comes in, again 144 fibers can come in. On the bottom side of the enclosure, we have an area to be able to secure the cable with a yoke, with a screw for the strength members, as well as a, a screw down for the central strength member. Once that cable gets installed into the, the, the enclosure, it can loop in and loop back out so that again you can concatenate from, from box to box. But the nice part about this box is that it has kind of a layered solution. So once the cables come in, a single fiber tube can be brought in. There's switchbacks on both sides to be able to route those cables and be able to splice them in any direction that you need, as well as being able to do the fusion splices and to put in an optical splitter if, if you need that. Once you have that spliced in, 
we have pigtails that can be installed in on the, the bottom side of the tray. It, everything's all organized and cable routed so that once it's completely put together, it locks up and it only presents the uh, drop cable ports to the installer themselves. So for homes past, they can run all of these to different poles or to the sides of apartment buildings. And when the subscriber decides that they want to add the service, the uh, installer would come out, they would undo a dust cap, plug in a drop cable, run it out through the bottom, and close it up. They've got a sealed enclosure now to be able to support up to eight drops going out to those individual residences. So once they get the house, the, the cable out to the residence itself, they need to be able to connect to the individual subscribers. We have an enclosure that we call the Customer Connection Point, or CCP. This is a single subscriber enclosure that's intended to go on the outside of the house, or it can go inside the building, but it's a completely water-sealed IP68 enclosure that allows you to bring in the drop cable on one side, plug it into an adapter if you want to do a, a pre-terminated drop. You can have it without the adapter, pull a splice in to be able to physically fusion splice those, and then convert that to the indoor-outdoor cable that you would use inside the facility itself. So it converts that outside plant to the inside plant type uh, application. Very small and compact. It uses a quarter turn gasket on the bottom to be able to wrap around pre-terminated cables so you can split it split so that it goes around the pre-terminated cables, slides into the port, and then using the, the locking nut, it stalls over and, and locks that cable in place, providing a waterproof, again, IP68 style uh, seal on both the cables. So this can be put in a hand hole, it can be mounted on the wall, it can be submerged underwater. Everything is set up for this to be able to be you know, fully environmentally protected. One other advantage of this box is that on the door itself or the cover, under, there's a laser warning label on it showing that it's fiber optic, but underneath there is a Gore-Tex gland that allows any moisture or uh, humidity on the inside of the enclosure once it's sealed and locked in place to let that out gas and not let any of the moisture back in. So it maintains its water seal and it will not fill up with water over time. It allows it to, to pour it out. So that's the outside plant portion of it. Once we get inside though, we've got this indoor outdoor cable now that has to attach to the indoor network. There are a number of ways to route those throughout the building. We have a handful of solutions to be able to support those. The traditional method is to come in and bring that cable into a, a more of an LGX style uh, wall mount box where it's a very small box, it has the adapters on the outside, not sealed, so this would be something that would go inside of a basement or inside of a, um, a network closet within the building. But it gives you access on the inside to be able to uh, splice, to be able to bring cables in, it has glands to be able to support the cables coming in and out of to, to do a patch. If you're in a, an environment where you want more of a structured cabling, something that's going to be a little bit more uh, clean and, and be able to go to all the different areas, we have a number of indoor boxes that allow you to be able to do that breakout. So with this, uh, what we call the fiber distribution enclosure, or the FDE, this is the splice version of it that allows you to bring in a multi-fiber cable. It has areas on the bottom to be able to mount. It has different tabs on it to be able to uh, route from different locations and to go out different directions. And a tray to be able to splice those into, splice them together. You can put an optical splitter in here or you can have individual cables come out to be able to run to each of the workstations or to run to each of the apartments or each of the rooms that you have to connect. So this provides a, a very compact method of being able to either act as an entrance facility to convert and use all the indoor cable or to be able to route out to individual workstations. If you want to be in an application where you are allowing the IT or the local uh, personnel to be able to work with this, not require a fusion splicer, we have a version of this also that still has the same splice tray and splice connections on the bottom, but it also has a pluggable patching bay on the top. So you can put in up to nine duplex SC adapters or nine quad adapters for either 18 or 36 port connectivity. And it it's, allows you to very easily mate your optical connectors so that if you need any configurations or changes, that local IT person or even the consumer themselves can go in and make to the pre-terminated patches, patch a cable to each of the locations that they need and be able to support that connection throughout the, the building itself. And then when you finally get to the end consumer it, itself, we have a standard wall outlet for the fiber. So this is a, an enclosure that's designed to be kind of that telephone box, if you will, next to the uh, computer or next to your network box or in an apartment building aspect, it may go up in the closet to be able to support the wireless access unit, 
to be able to support a wireless modem or a media converter to be able to you know, convert to the copper that's going to be typically what the consumer is going to use throughout their building. A couple advantages with this product is it allows the adapter to be either put in a protruded position or it can easily slides out and can be installed in so that it's completely flush with the bottom of the enclosure. It also has an integral press feature in it that's a little knockout on the inside of the, the box that allows you to bring your cable in and then with a ratchet just snap down and lock that cable in place. So it's very quick to use, very easy to install, and once you have the, the cover on it, it's, it's very low profile compared to a lot of the products that are out on the market right now. So this concludes and shows our, our fiber to the home, you know, basically going from the pole to the consumer. These can be used in a structured network, they can be used in a drop network, they can be used in a passive optical network. A lot of different options and solutions to be able to support whatever kind of configuration is needed to go from the carrier to the subscriber. All of the Hellman Titan products are currently available through Norfolk Wire. On the screen you'll see the contact for your local representative to be able to get more information about the product or to be able to, to purchase the product. Thank you very much.